Hi, my name is Elise Woods and I'm a recruiter at the Dallas office. On this episode of Atlas Outdoors, we're going to talk about the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. So I'm from Longview, Texas, and we have a actual, we have a balloon festival there. It's a pretty small town in East Texas. Um, And we have, we actually have a few hospitals that we work at, um, that we work with in Longview and kind of some surrounding areas. Um, So we have that balloon festival every year. And I thought that it was just something that was really unique to my hometown. Then, you know, we started learning about more balloon festivals my stepdad is actually in charge of putting on the one in Longview, so he does that every other year. Um, and it's actually a pretty tight-knit community. Him and my mom and I were sitting at dinner and we were just talking about it. And I was like, I've always wanted to ride in a hot air balloon. I think that would be really cool to go. And he was like, well, we should go to the one in Albuquerque. It's huge. You can see, you know, hundreds of them as opposed to just like 30 or 50 or 100 in Longview. Um, so it was it was really cool to come from seeing a really small festival to one that is one of the biggest ones in the country. I think we were there the first weekend. Um, and then they have things during the week too, but I think the festival part is on the weekend. Um, so yeah, you get up really, really, really early to go to those festivals. Um, so like I said, my, my stepdad is friends with a few of the pilots. And so him and my mom got to ride in a hot air balloon the first morning that we went. So we woke up at like four o'clock in the morning. It was freezing, um, but then you get there and you see all of the hot air balloons and they're just lighting up and it's dark outside. Um, So they went up in a hot air balloon that morning. And so they got to watch the sunrise and the hot air balloon. And um, then I went later that afternoon. like coffee there's breakfast there's a lot of vendors there's things to buy and then I mean I would say around like 10 everything's like everyone's tired everyone's been there for hours Um, the balloons had already come and gone I feel like it's cool to meet some of the pilots or try to get on a hot air balloon because a lot of them will go tailgate after Um, so in the big field where all the balloons were they'll set up their trucks and they'll grill out and they'll hang out and I mean, passengers are invited and um, it's a really cool experience. And then the festival kind of starts back up at night. So then they'll have a fireworks show at night and they'll have a dinner um, and then just the same vendors from the morning. This is the biggest balloon festival I've ever been to. And if you have the chance to go and you're in Albuquerque, I highly recommend it. It's like a bucket list thing. Even if you don't even go to the festival, I feel like you could go sit at like a restaurant or even like probably your apartment or Airbnb and you can see all of them in the sky. There's hundreds. It's so cool. It's just, it's a really interesting experience to just see balloons flying around all day. But also there's so many more balloon festivals that you can look up. There's a lot, there's smaller ones um, that you can go to and you know, probably get on a hot air balloon a little bit easier that way and just kind of get that experience. But like I said, in Longview, Texas, um, we have hospitals that we work with there Um, and the surrounding areas like Tyler, Texas, we have it. Um, We have some assignments in Shreveport. That's like 40 minutes from Longview um, that, you know, you could drive in for the Longview Balloon Festival. Um, Ours is in either late June or July. So if you're in, the East Texas area at that time, you should look it up and try to go because they're really fun.